Hello, this is Dr. Schmeezing, superintendent with Salina City Schools. We're excited that the middle school has their music program that will be open to the public. And Matilda Jr. is being put on this year by the middle schoolers. The evenings will be January 28th and 29th, showtime 7.30. And on Sunday, January 30th, showtime is 3 o'clock. If you do not yet have your tickets, we do ask that you come 30 minutes before showtime. Tickets are $8 a piece. We are now midway through our athletic seasons for the winter sports. Girls bowling is unbeaten at this time, so come out and support our bowling teams. The boys bowling team, I believe, only has one loss. Our wrestling team, only one loss, so they are definitely battling for WBL titles this year. Also, don't forget to support the swim and dive. Their home season is done, but they do have about four more contests on the road before the tournament season begins. Basketball season as well. Both boys and girls have been picking up wins here recently. So looking forward to a productive end of the season and then the start to their tournament run. Speaking of athletics, this Saturday, January 22nd, is our Hall of Fame game. Now the boys are posed to take on Crestview Convoy, but following the JV game, we will actually have the award ceremony for our Hall of Fame night. We do have three inductees this year, so that will happen between the JV and the varsity game. And then following the game, there is a reception where everyone is invited to join us over at the Salina Knights of Columbus Hall. Salina City Schools is moving forward on our facilities project. Earlier this month, the OFCC, or the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission, did give us a financial approval, and that was on January the 10th. Now moving up to the end of the month, on January 28th, all the applications for our construction manager at risk are due, and those are due to the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission, or OFCC. And on the last day of the month, we will be interviewing the three finalists as far as our architects for our facilities project. Those finalists do include the DLR group. They are based out of Cleveland, Ohio. Fanning and Howie, based here out of Salina, Ohio. And Garmin Miller, out of Minster, Ohio. So one of those three will likely be chosen right at the end of this month to head up our facilities project as architect. Salina City Schools are going great places. Really, we are looking for the achievement of our students to continue to improve, but we also need more staff members to help us along this process. Due to other staff members moving on or retiring, we do have opportunities available. Our athletic director position will be posted here in February. We are looking for long-term substitutes as far as teachers, also substitutes in our teacher assistant positions, custodians, and I'm sure you have heard about the need for additional bus drivers. That would be so awesome to have you come, be a part of the team, support our kids, support Salina City Schools. We so appreciate all the community support. Thank you for supporting Salina City Schools, and go Bulldogs!